Life in quarantine has turned our daily routines upside down. Oh, Families yeah. are spending more time together, <laughs> which is good and bad. <laughs> Neighbors are enjoying nature more on their bikes or walking together. Well, a Wilton Mandis neighborhood has taken it to a whole new level, and you may call it a social distancing block party, as Janice Fernandez shows us. It's early evening in this Wilton Manors neighborhood. It's around this time you'll start to see neighbors bring out their chairs, setting up a block party. Hello, cheers! Except this block party is a little different, affectionately called the 715 Club, which is the time the party starts. We're sitting at safe distances across the street, and we've really gotten to know, um, uh, you know, six, seven, eight neighbors. We come out every night. It's social distancing at play, but it's a time to relax and relieve some stress. For Chuck Griffith and Kimber Billow, it's almost like therapy. Their daughter, who is a nurse in Boston, contracted COVID-19. These social gatherings have helped. We just talked to our daughter, Meg, before we came up, and she's feeling a bit better. She's less anxious. It's a chance to catch up, share laughs, and get to know their neighbors. Juan lives three houses down that way, and, we never and we've met never met him before. Meetings. So this is nice. And of course, to make this a real party, the middle of the street becomes everyone's stage. And at exactly 7.57 every night, a small street light turns on as the sun goes down. Maybe this party is more a celebration of another day. Another day these neighbors can say they're healthy, they're safe, they're still here, proving that social distancing can actually bring people closer together. We can't wait to congregate around the pool and hug and, you know, share drinks with each other and have a really good time when we don't have to talk to each other across the street.